Now I don't know what kind of photographer you are, but I'm the kind that will take hundreds if not thousands of photos on a shoot. And as you're here watching a video about AI culling, I'm guessing you're the same. And that's where FilterPixel comes in. I don't typically do this kind of software review, but the FilterPixel team really impressed me. They're trying to make a great piece of software and they're really dedicated to it. And at the end of the day, if their software can save me time, then I'm all for it. This video is sponsored by FilterPixel, but they've not seen this video before it's gone live and they've not had any say in this video either. So you can trust that the opinions in this video are entirely my own. So what is FilterPixel? FilterPixel is a subscription-based AI software, and when you import your photos, it processes them and judges them based on their image quality, based on how in focus they are, the eye quality, and things like that. So how much does this software actually cost? Plans range from free to $150 a year, and the plan you choose will depend on how many photos you take every month. I would probably get on fine with the 5,000 a month plan. I'm probably not gonna take more photos than that, but if you're a photographer that's taking thousands of photos every single month, you're probably going to want the unlimited plan. All right, so enough of me talking and introducing this product. Let's actually take a look at it and what it can do. When you open Filter Pixel for the first time, you're going to be met with this super clean UI. There's basically no real functionality here other than creating a new project or editing your account settings. If you need help or you're not sure how to use the software, there are a few options like contacting support via the live chat built into the app, which you can access down here, or emailing the developers directly. Importing your photos is easy. Just click on create your new project, select the folder from your computer. You can then rename it and you can choose what best describes the shoot. So if it's events or weddings, portraits or others. It's worth bearing in mind that what you click on will have an impact on the AI. If you click on portraits, it will be strict on eye quality. Events and weddings will prefer aesthetics over objectivity. So for this, I'm clicking on portraits and click start now. Now this shouldn't take too long. You can see here that on the top right, it's saying it's gonna take around four minutes. Go make yourself a cup of coffee and come back later. Okay, so FilterPixel has now processed my images. It's worth noting that it doesn't cull images straight away, so don't worry about that. To do that, you click on Auto Select and it will automatically put all of the images that FilterPixel thinks are best into this Photos Accepted category. So starting from the top left then, we do have Photos Accepted, which is obviously none at the moment because we've not clicked on Auto Select, but then we have 48 photos with major issues, 480 with minor issues, and 32 without any issues. It's good to know that most of my images are in minor issues rather than major issues. So if we click on images with minor issues, I'm just gonna go and click on some of these and just show you how this software works. So let's say, hmm, what's a good photo to go with just to demonstrate how the software works. Let's go with this image here. So on the right, we have our export panel and this tab is called faces. And obviously it's just a close up of the face and you could see poses, eyes and things like that. Really useful for looking at your photos and seeing if any of them don't look so good because of, I don't know, a strange face is being pulled or there's just something distracting in the image. Then if you click on details, you've got all of this extra information. So you can see here that FilterPixel has tagged this image, partial out of focus, high quality eyes, no alternatives present and makeup. Now I can definitely say that my friend is not wearing any makeup in this image. So it's interesting that FilterPixel has tagged it like that. Also the partial out of focus, another interesting thing here because the image is actually tack sharp in terms of the face and the eyes, but obviously the image around him is completely blurry because I'm using an F 1.8 lens. The foreground is also quite blurry, so it would be good to see the AI maybe learn a bit from this and realize that this is actually a desirable look from a creative standpoint and the image isn't really partially out of focus. Well, I guess from a technical standpoint, it is. It probably is mostly out of focus than it is in focus, but that's something I want as the photographer. Whereas FilterPixel has deemed this image one with minor issues because of this. You can see here as well that we have 91% eye quality, so very good eye quality here. And then underneath that, you also get your metadata as well. And next to details on the right, we have similar, and you can see the four here in brackets because there are four images that FilterPixel thinks are the same or you know similar in terms of composition. Now, what's interesting is that if we click on comparison mode, you can go through all of the images. Now, obviously this one here with the eyes closed is not gonna be a good photo. And this is a really quick and easy way to go through these images and see which one you think is best. And if you do have a favorite, you can rate it with stars or you can add a certain color. So going back to the grid view then, continuing along the top bar, we have our grid view, full screen view, and then our collapse similar photos button. Now if we click on collapse similar photos, what FilterPixel is going to do is collapse all of the images that look similar and choose the best one based on composition, eye quality, and things like that, which is again, a really useful feature. Next across the top bar, we have another filters option. 
and you can choose based on perfect focus, partial out of focus, out of focus, low quality eyes, high quality eyes, things like that. Then we also have a sorting drop down and you can sort by capture time, focus quality, eye quality. Next across the top, we have our star ratings and our color ratings. And to add these, all you have to do is click on the image and you can click on the stars here at the bottom left or the colors here on the bottom right. And that's pretty much it. Then when you've actually rated some images, you can obviously click on these to filter them. And lastly on the UI, we have these two sliders on the bottom right. Now these are really useful. So if I click on 50 here, this adjusts focus quality. And now I'm seeing the images that have 50 or more focus quality. If I click 50 here, I'm gonna see images with 50 or more eye quality. This is a really great way to see the best of your images. You know, if you put this on to 100%, I don't think I've even got any with that <laughs> with that higher rating. I don't, unfortunately. But again, this is just a really good way to go through your images and filter them based on the quality. And that's pretty much it. The last thing you can do then is click on auto select. So if I click on auto select, it's gonna put all the images that filter pixel thinks are best into the photos accepted filter. And if I change these sliders down at the bottom, you can see I've got 126 photos accepted. And now all you're gonna want to do is click on export. And you can either export to Lightroom, export to a local folder, or export to a CSV. You can also choose to export based on tags. So maybe you don't want to export the accepted ones. Maybe you want to export the rejected ones for some reason. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can choose to do that. You can also export based on star ratings. So say you wanted to just go through your photos and just rate them and then export your five star images. You can do that as well. And once you've exported them, it just puts them straight into your Lightroom catalog and that's it, you're good to go. And that's pretty much it for the software. So what do I think so far about FilterPixel? Well, firstly, the team is hugely dedicated and it's something that really impresses me. They're putting a lot of work into this to make it such a good piece of software. And during the time that I've been testing it, whenever there's been a bug or something that's actually been my error, they've been super quick to respond to me and make sure that it works fine. And after chatting to these guys for some time, they're constantly trying to add new features to make our lives easier and eventually this will be a fantastic piece of software. And the reason I say eventually is that there are a few things that need ironing out but these guys are rapid. They are releasing new updates like every single week and to be quite honest I'm really excited to see how far they take this. The filtering is also incredibly impressive in the software and the ability to view photos based on eye quality, general focus quality, that's going to speed up your workflow massively. So if you can trust the AI to sort through your photos and tell you which ones are best or which ones aren't very good, then definitely check out FilterPixel. You can always download a free trial and see how you get on with it. But if you do like it and you want to get a subscription, be sure to use my code Jack10 and you'll get 10% off your yearly plan. And that's it, that's my video for FilterPixel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, it really helps out the channel. Comment below how long it usually takes you to process your photos. I'd love to know the different timescales here because we're all very different. I tend to spend days, if not weeks sometimes, going through all my photos. But how long do you spend going through all of your photos? Let me know down below. If you wanna see more from me, be sure to subscribe, hit that little bell icon as well, and you'll be notified when I upload another video. And I'll see you in the next one.